Hey everyone, it has been a minute since our last video, but let's jump right back into things with another programming video. So someone asked me recently about how can I convert tabs to spaces when I'm on FreeDOS. Now, if you're on a Linux machine, you can use the expand command to do that for you, but FreeDOS doesn't have an expand command, but you can actually build your own uh, just it, by writing it in the C programming language. I find that's the easiest way to do that. So let's go into the Watcom C and we're going to uh, run the owsetenv batch file and that sets up my environment. And now let's go into my source directory and let's actually uh, now make a, a new thing, thing called untab. It's basically the same thing as expand. And so I'll go into untab. Uh, and I also need to uh, uh, set up my fed program because I don't actually have fed in my path. So I'm going to do an alias on fed go to C apps fed and then fed.exe. And so now I can type fed untab.c. All right, so let's uh, let's do uh, and include standard right? That's the standard thing you want to do uh, for most kinds of uh, programs because obviously we're going to be printing uh, to standard output and reading from, in this case, standard input. Uh, I'm also going to define the tab size here, right? So why hard code a value if I can just make it a parameter? So I'm going to do uh, define the tab size to be eight spaces, which it should be anyway, but now we actually have that defined. I'm going to make this a filter program. So what this will be is uh, we can do untab from a file and then we can save it to another file. Uh, or another way that you could do that, you could do uh, type a file and then put that into the untab command and then save that to another file. That's another way that you could do that. Uh, and so uh, this is basically the kind of program we're making. It's just a very easy way to do it. And so for that, I don't actually need to take any command line arguments. So I'll just type in int main without uh, taking any command line arguments. Now, uh, I need to have, uh, I'm going to read characters at a time. This isn't the fastest way to do it, but it actually ends up being a pretty easy way to write it. And so I'm going to uh, read a uh, uh, my each character one character at a time from the input. And for that, I need to have an integer variable, which I'll just call C. I also need to keep track of, you know, how many basically spaces until the next tab stop. And so uh, the way I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a, uh, this doesn't need to be a very big variable. I'm going to do a short, uh, I'm going to call it the next, which is standing in for the next, how many spaces until the next tab stop. Initially, that's going to be eight spaces. All right, so now I can do my big loop. And so my loop here is while uh, I'm going to be reading in a character from uh, standard input. So that's going to be get care. Uh, and so as long as that doesn't equal the end of a file, then I can do my loop. All right, so what's going to happen inside this loop? Well, um, I need to check, I guess, first if I'm going to be uh, reading a tab. And so let's do uh, if that character is a tab character, then we're going to be doing one thing. Um, otherwise, we'll be doing some other thing. And so what happens if it's a tab? Well, actually, the easiest way to do it, I start here first, is what if it's not a tab? If it's not a tab, we'll just print it out. So we'll say, uh, we'll do put care of whatever that character is. But if it's a tab, well, we actually need to now uh, export a bunch of tabs. We can't just dump out eight tabs, uh, but we've been keeping track in this variable called next, how many spaces there are to the next tab. And so for that, I'm going to just do a while loop that says uh, as long as while the next variable, which we're going to decrement every time we reference it here, uh, but only after the fact, as long as it's greater than zero, uh, then I'm going to put care a space. And yeah, I did that on one line because I don't need to have a bunch of vertical space in here. So uh, we'll just do uh, while uh, next, and then we're going to decrement it every time, is greater than zero, we're going to dump a space. And so if the uh, tab is the first character on the line, it's going to dump eight um, spaces because it's going to take that long to get from eight down to zero. 
Uh, and if I've got one character at the beginning of a line and then I have a tab, well, it'll dump out seven because we're also going to hear down here, uh, check what happens if, oops, um, if, uh, if I decrement the next is less than or e probably less than or equal to zero because it wouldn't have to be always equal to zero because I've decimated it down to zero up there. If I decrement that and it is less than or equal to zero, well, then I probably should uh, reset the next equal to the tab size. But it turns out there's something else I need to do first. And so what happens if I encounter a new line? Well, I need to reset uh, the tab and uh, the, next, the next variable. And so we'll say if the character that we just dealt with was a new line, well, in that case, we're going to just reset the next to be tab size. And then else if, so if it's anything other than a new line, well, then we just dumped out a normal character. And then we're going to now keep track of, we're going to decrement the number of uh, spaces to the next uh, tab stop. And if we get down to zero, that means we're sitting on a tab stop. So now the next, uh, we need to reset the next variable to be to the next tab stop. So we're combining two things at once here. And then that's the loop. And so once we're done with that, we're going to return back to the operating system with zero. So this is actually a very short program, right? As you can see, I can fit the entire thing on one screen if I'm willing to put a couple of things on a couple different lines. Just to make it a little bit more uh, readable to some folks, we're going to, uh, down here, we'll split that into another line. And we'll do that. And we'll do the same thing for the else if. And we'll indent that so it looks a little bit nicer. And we'll do the same thing up here on the while statement. But that's just to make it look nice. Uh, and as you can see, this is what's happening. So what's happening is that uh, it's reading characters one at a time from standard input. That's what get care does. And until we hit an end of a file marker, and then if that character is a tab, uh, then it's going to just dump out uh, a, a bunch of spaces. Otherwise, it's going to just print out uh, that character. And then after we've done that test, we're just going to say, well, if it was a, uh, a new line, then we'll just reset the tab size. And if it wasn't a new line, it was some regular character, then we'll just decrement the counter to the next tab stop. And then if we hit zero, we'll just reset it back to whatever the next tab size is. And so that's a very simple way to do uh, untabbing or expanding uh, tabs to spaces. We'll go ahead and save and quit. And we'll do a Watcom compiler and linker on untab.c. And you can see that now I've got uh, a executable program. And so uh, let's, uh, let's actually uh, run the uh, the VI command. So VI is one of the things that comes with uh, Open Watcom, and we'll just make a test file. So t.txt. Uh, and so uh, I'm going to uh, hit tab here, and I'll put in a little vertical bar. And so actually, before I do that, let's let's actually put in some numbers here. So let's we call them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's twenty. Uh, and uh, let's do one more set here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. And so uh, this would be the beginning of a line. So we'll just say start. And uh, what happens if I were to hit tab at the beginning? Well, that should be uh, a new tab. And then I do tab again, and that would give me a new tab. And then I can do. Uh, let's do spaces here. Space, 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 space. And then this will be a vertical bar for saying that's a space. And then we'll do spaces again, get to another space. And then down here, we'll say, uh, we'll just do a regular character. This is the start of a line. And then we'll do a tab, and that gets us to another tab mark. And then I'll do it again with a start of a line, and then we'll do some spaces. So what I'm doing is I'm just demonstrating that, uh, yeah, these are all... Um, 
uh, examples of how do I uh, uh, basically creating a test file here. Let's let's make sure I can actually see spaces versus tabs. And so I'm going to use a, uh, a command here to do all lines, and we'll swap uh, spaces and we'll turn them into a period. Oops, period. And we'll do that multiple times on a line. And so you can see that uh, I actually do have tabs where I have uh, tab marks and I have spaces where I have spaces. And so I can actually see where the spaces are. Let's go ahead and save that file. And so now that I've got a test file, let's now run untab against t.txt. And you can see that that is how you can expand tabs into spaces. Uh, there's one other way that you can do this. And so uh, I know that, you know, some people might say, well, 5K is a bit big for a program like this. Well, let's go into my uh, development area and we'll go CD and we'll go into uh, BCC. I've got BCC on here. This is a very small uh, C compiler. And uh, I've got a batch file here that just lets me set up my environment, uh, just sets up the path. And so this is a very small C compiler. It actually is a very old C compiler. Uh, and if you read the documentation, it'll even tell you uh, it is uh, barely a uh, uh, an ANSI C compiler. So uh, this is a um, uh, what it actually does is a com it uh, translates C into um, uh, uh, into assembly and then it assembles it and creates a com file and so we'll do bcc uh, and i don't think i need the ansi option but i kind of by habit i'm adding that uh, and then i'll say uh, bcc slash ansi and we'll do the output going to it creates a com file so we'll do call it untab.com uh, and actually i'll call it untab2.com so that way we know what program we're running and then untab.c so it's the same c source code except now uh, we've made a 2K file, just about, about 2K. Uh, and so if I run untab from t.txt, uh, we saw that we get that. And I can run untab2, which is the COM program, from t.txt, and I get the same thing. So uh, if you need to have a, uh, an ability to, to translate uh, tabs into spaces on FreeDOS, you can write your own little program uh, to do that. So what'd you think about this video? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. Uh, so thanks to all the people who are uh, gold uh, sponsors or above. Um, and uh, don't forget to visit our website at freedos.org. Join us on Facebook, follow us on Mastodon, and consider supporting me on Patreon. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.